Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to this episode of Keith K K K K K K Con Donst. Today, we are going to be talking about the one, not one, eleven billion dollar question looming over Ford. Like this is the question that a lot of Ford investors have in regards to Ford Motor company you know i'm sorry for for nick Foles' head in the background i just noticed that uh nick he must be hiding i don't know whatever so, so today like I said, we're gonna be talking about the 11 billion dollar question looming over ford let's go ahead and take a look at the article so in, in the article written by CNN Business, basically uh, Ford had released some some stuff in July, basically saying that they, they got to redo their business kind of structure. Like over the next three to five years, like they got to cut some of what they used to do, sh shed some of their, their business uh, and reshape it to basically poise themselves for future growth. Whether it's a good idea or not, I'll leave that up for you to decide. But the real issue that a lot of people are having is that there's no real information about what this shed some stuff over here, poise yourself for the future. Like we can all kind of make uh, guesses, educated guesses maybe on where they will be going via technology, via self-propelled driven cars, electric cars, like that kind of area might be where they're going. But as far as it goes right now, nobody really kind of knows. Since they announced this, though, Ford stock has dropped 20%. So I would say that this is not a good idea to leave your shareholders in the dark about what you're trying to do. Like, don't let people that are investing in your business not know what you're doing with your business. We will, we will see. Right now, Ford's global workforce is around 200,000 employees. And uh, some people estimate that they could be cutting this down by like tens of thousands of employees. So I would say maybe 20 to 30,000 employees, maybe. Um, also talks, maybe some other analysis are talking about maybe them pulling out of Europe, pulling out of overseas stuff and really focusing in on the American market while focusing maybe on technology, uh, self-driven cars, all that kind of stuff. I mean, honestly, I, I don't know. That's basically what the article kind of like to sum it all up is like 11 billion dollars they want to shift doing their business and nobody really knows what's going on more or less like it's pretty crazy that people are still willing to hang on they 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 do talk about i mean they're in europe they're doing they're doing all right they i think they squeeze out a little bit of profit this year However, um, since GM kind of pulled out of Europe, like they're, they're, there's like, hey, you know what? If GM could pull out of there, we could definitely pull out of there. It seems like this is a, a, a really tough time for a lot of auto, automobile manufacturers and businesses because there's a lot of these tech companies, i.e. Amazon, i.e. Google, i.e. Apple, i.e. maybe Microsoft, that are like, hey, you know what? We've got this technology. We've, we've got the ability to make a self-driving car. Let's make one. Like the, the technology of how to build a car is already out there. Like it's pretty easy. You, know, you need an engine, you need some wheels, you need a transmission, you need some oil filter, you know, you, know, you need you need to cool it, all that kind of stuff. Like, hey, you know what? We could build a car pretty easy. Like we 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 built a self driving like engine that literally can propel this car. Like not not an actual like like a motor, like we built like the engine, like the the server, the platform, the uh, code to run the self-driving car like we could easily all we got to do is stick that in the car and then hey you know what we're in the car business and nobody else can compete with us so i think this is where uh, a lot of tech companies might be looking to grab a little bit of growth and these big car companies are like oh crap like now we got to compete with tech just as much as we got to compete with ourselves and oh my goodness like maybe there will be some consolidation inside of the car companies moving forward i i honestly don't see that happening but hey you never know right anyways i'd love to hear your thoughts comments and criticisms like would you be buying forward if you didn't know what they're restructuring what their plan what their outlook is moving forward do you buy right now because hey 
no one knows. And so this might be a good time to get in before they have that explosive growth. Or maybe this would be a bad time to get in because they're not going to get explosive growth. I don't know. I would love to know your thoughts, comments, and criticisms down below. Anyways, until next time, it's yeah, boy. Coach Keith, peace out.